Hey everyone, very excited to announce that we've released our Ethereum integration into Slate, allowing uh, customer applications to much more easily add Ethereum staking deposits to their platforms. And wanted to give you an idea of how quick and simple it is within Slate. We'll just get into it by starting a new flow. So all we have to do is identify ourselves with our API key, indicate what chain we want to operate on, which I will do Ethereum testnet, uh, that we want to do a staking transaction, and which version of the API we'll be using. Uh, when I hit start flow, that's as if the customer application is letting Slate know it wants to start a new flow. And we can see that is uh, creating a new one here. So there's only one action in this step to create the deposit transaction. Uh, and you can see here that Slate is providing all of the fields that need to be collect collected. So that is the funding account address, which is where the ETH will be coming from. The validator public key which is the identifier for the validator that we want to fund. The withdrawal creden credentials identify the wallet uh, where funds will return once uh, withdrawals are enabled and uh, withdrawal is initiated. And then a couple pieces of metadata uh, which validate the deposit. So the signature and the deposit data route. Uh, we can also optionally adjust the gas, but I will leave those as default for now. So hitting next is like sending that information back to Slate. And now we can see we've moved to the next state, which is to uh, sign the deposit transaction. If I needed to, I could refresh that transaction to get a fresh nonce, but uh, as I don't need to do that, I will go to the signing step. And here we'll repli replicate uh, what goes on behind the scenes in the customer application, which is actually signing the raw transaction you see here. So I will grab my private key for my test wallet, sign the transaction, and now we have the signed payload here. Hitting next is like submitting that back to Slate to broadcast it to the network. And again, we can see we've moved to the next state, which is that it's actually broadcasting the transaction. So once this is confirmed on chain, uh, we can see that it, it will be confirmed that the deposit was successful and that the validator will start the activation process. Uh, as you can see, that was quite simple. And when you combine that with the APIs available through Prime for validator management, where you can uh, request new positions and get the data needed to uh, build this transaction, it's quite simple to manage your positions and get staking on Ethereum. Thank you.